You can use your keyboard's 10-key number pad for keyboard editing that can really increase your editing speed. To see this, add three video files to your timeline. Press the 7 key on your 10-key number pad. Vega selects the left event edge that's closest to the timeline cursor. A red highlight enables you to easily identify the selected event edge. Press the 7 key again and the selection moves to the next event edge to the left. Press 7 repeatedly until you've come to the first event edge in your project. You can also select edges to the right. To do this, press the 9 key. With these two keyboard shortcuts, you can move through all edges of the events in your selected track. Once you've selected the event edge you want to trim, press the 4 key to trim the edge one screen pixel to the left, or the 6 key to trim the edge one pixel to the right. Now press the 1 key to trim the edge one video frame to the left, or the 3 key to trim it one frame to the right. If they're not touching already, drag the events so that they snap to one another. Click the Auto Ripple button to engage automatic ripple editing. Now you can use your keyboard trimming techniques to trim an edge, and ripple editing will move all other affected events so that you instantly close holes in your timeline or make room for expanded events. Press any of the trimming keys we just discussed, and you see that ripple editing immediately keeps the event edges snapped together. You can also quickly preview your cuts. Notice that the timeline cursor sits at the location of the last edge you trimmed. To quickly see what this cut looks like, press the zero key. This starts project preview from one second before your cursor location and plays through to one second after the cursor location. You can do this at any time in order to see the results of your trimming. Next, press shift Control q to create a new empty video track at the top of your project. Press your number pad 8 key to move the selected event up to the new track. Press the 2 key to move the event back down to the original track. Use the 1, 3, 4, and 6 keys to move the selected event to the left and right by screen pixel, or frame as described when we were trimming earlier. Notice that if ripple editing is still engaged, the ripple rules are followed in this case too. Click the Auto Ripple button to disengage ripple edit mode if you don't want it on. Finally, that leaves just the 5 key. Press the 5 key now. In Vegas Pro, this opens expanded edit mode, and that's the topic for a different video. For now, press 5 again to return to normal mode. Note that Vegas Movie Studio does not have expanded edit mode. All of the other techniques discussed in this video work in all versions of Vegas Pro and in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum.